All right, we have a quadratic function, f of x equals x squared minus 1x minus 30. And we want to find the vertex. Well, the coordinates of the vertex are negative b over 2a, comma, f of negative b over 2a. So it's an x and a y value. So um, if we look at this function, a is equal to 1, and b is equal to negative 1. So negative b over 2a would be negative times a negative 1 over 2 times 1. So that's positive 1 over 2. So we get 1 half for the x value of the vertex. In order to get the y value, we just have to plug that in to the function. So we want to find f of 1 half. So it's going to be 1 half squared minus 1 times 1 half minus 30. That's equal to 1 fourth minus 1 half minus 30. And if we plug all that in our calculators, so negative 1 divided by 4 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 30, and I change it to a fraction, I get negative 123 over 4. So the vertex then is negative, or yeah, positive 1 half comma, negative 123 over 4. Alright, for the next part, um, what the largest x-intercept is, find the x-intercepts you're setting uh, y equal to 0. So you're going to get x squared minus 1x minus 30 equals 0. And this one is a nice factorable one. So we have x minus 6 and x plus 5 are the factors and if you set each one of those equal to 0 you get that x equals 6 or x plus 5 equals 0 and that which case x equals negative 5 but it says to put the largest um, the largest x-intercept and that one would be 6 so we're going to put 6 in there now the y-intercept is where you're putting um, 0 in for x. So f of 0 would be 0 squared minus 1 times 0 minus 30, and that's just equal to negative 30. So the y-intercept, it says is y equals, you're just going to put minus 30 in there. An intercept is technically a co uh, coordinate, it would be 0, negative 30, but it's just asking you for the y value there.